unfortunately for Scafo, you're facing Collingwood. It's the final boss. And let's see here. We have the Annihilate from Scafo 99 into the Cresselia from Colin. This is not exactly where you want that Annihilate. Yep, this is a really good matchup for Colin because he has Moonblast outpaces the Annihilate. Immediate switch into the Lickitung here. Exactly, and Moonblast is going to chip this Lickitung pretty well. Scafo not throwing his energy just yet. Colin actually quite weak to that Lickitung here. Yeah, but I also want to say that all of his Pokemon, oh, we're going into the Lickitung with a Ghost type. That is nothing you usually see, but we're going to see that the Annihilate in the back for Scaffold really doesn't have too much play against anything that Colin Exactly. Brings. Colin has such a nasty strategy here. He knows that his max zone is so good, so he knows Annihilate is coming out. So what's he doing? He just goes triple strong to Annihilate here. There's nowhere to go. Yep, and this is, oh, he actually goes for 100 energy. And now the power up is going to deal a lot of damage. You're not going to be able to throw two disarming voices here. I think, oh, we are actually going yeah, to be are. able, because you barely survived this one with more than a few HP. If you don't survive this, the Skeletor has 100 energy. And no, Lickiton goes down. That is terrible for Scafo 99, because now you have to take a Shadow Ball on either Annihilate or the Altaria. The question is, oh, he throws the disarming voice here into the Altaria. Does slightly less damage than a Shadow Ball, I would assume, even though it's super effective. Actually, I'm not too P sure. Perhaps he was afraid of the, the, the wiggly tough. tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and you don't want to throw Shadow Ball into that. So now going for the counter down, going for slight energy advantage. Cresselia is dry on energy. Um, but let's see, this is going to get pretty tricky, actually. I think with those licks, the Cresselia might be in Shadow Ball range. And let's see, both trains are firing up. Now, finally, the first charge stack is thrown. And Scafo 99 wants to preserve that energy. Doesn't want to get taken out by a potential Moonblast here. And puts out the Protect Shield against the Grass Knot. That is true. Uh, and especially in the two shield scenario, which Colin is apparently expecting to play. A Grass Knot will be enough. Oh, we're actually calling a Night Slash, and that is so big for Colin. Yeah, I think at this point you kind of need the boost here. This is terrible for Scafo. So, um, yeah, Moomla super effective. Go to take out the Altaria. Now being able to get to a Shadow Ball here. Man, what if you threw the Shadow Ball before swapping out? Yeah, I'm also quite curious about this. Let's see how much damage this does, because maybe this was an absolutely wasted. Uh, nope, Altaria would have taken it like a champ, farm down the Annihilate, and then throw Moonblast into... Three times Annihilate into Bastion today, and then we had a lot of knocked down to Venusaur. Here we go! Lickitung into Altaria. And this time, Scafo didn't bring that Annihilate, and we see in the back the Magna Zone lurking. Oh, goodness. Colin is just sitting in Scafo's head, reading his mind. And this is this matchup is about as neutral as it gets. But we, al we also know that Scafo might be in control of Switchy because Colin is never going to shield anything. Here's the thing, Leo. Colin doesn't know yet that there's no Annihilate in the back. Yeah. So I would not be surprised if like some shield scenario shenanigans might actually put Scafo at an advantage at some point. Like if he gets like a shield advantage for his Altaria. There is that possibility. I don't see a lot of hope for Lantern the Fish here, however. Cresselia and Magnuson both are really good into it. Yep, that is true. This is a very, very good team read from Colin again. He could have also brought the Skeleturge again to answer the Annihilate, but the Annihilate is not there at all. Scaffold disrespecting the Magnuson at the wrong time. Very low HP on Altaria before it throws the Sky Attack. Very, very good. Scaffold investing a shield, wants to keep Switch here, wants to position the Lantern on the Skeleturge. He actually went three times strong against Skeleturge. Oh, oh no! no. This is nasty! This is such a nasty farm down for Colin. And no shield. Putting this body slam on the Magnuson is resistant, but look at this damage. It's actually pretty respectable. Now, hard swapping into that Altaria. Magnuson, however, the Dragon Birds are resistant. I think you can build up to two Wild Charge and actually throw both of them. Let's see here what Colin is going to do. Building up to the Wild Charge and the Mirror Shield. This guy for going to call this Wild Charge here. This would do a lot of damage if no shielded. And oh, he puts out the protection at the last second. Yep, and are we going to see another? Oh, we're going to see a mirror shot here into the no shield, which I find interesting because I think he just wants to bring it into Moonblast range, the Altaria, and now is going to pivot immediately out into the Cresselia. Wants to win it on the hands of Cresselia, expecting the lantern in the back as well. And what attack are you going to throw? Yeah, you're going for the Sky attack. It's less energy, hoping to get to two. You could argue going for one Moonblast in case Colin throws that uh, Moonblast immediately into the Altaria. But yeah, it's going to be tough. He does throw immediately. Not being able to launch his second charge deck. Cresselia with his shoot up. This is looking like an uphill battle for Scafo at this point. Yep, Scafo will need to use this Licky Tank to its full potential. It has not a lot of HP, but that is enough to take a few Psycho Cuts. And now can he maybe even go for a catch? Oh, he tries to go for a catch here. Does not catch a Grass Knot. Reaches up to a Body Slam, and this might make things interesting. But there is so much energy on the Cresselia here. Cresselia is almost 
goes at two Grasslots. I'm not sure if two Grasslots will be enough, but with the Psycho Cuts, it might barely. And also, that Magna Zone still has some Volt Switch in it. Look at how much put damage this Lickitung put in yep. there, though. Let's see what uh, Lantern can still do here. I'm not sure if two Grasslots will be enough, but it will definitely put it into one Volt Switch range. Yep, that is true. I think all we were actually, yep, this is a lot of damage. And I can expect also an immediate pivot out into the Shadow Magnuson here just to win this game via Wall Switch. Actually, this is not only one Wall Switch, but you need kind of two. So do your switch. You know you just farm down. Scafo says, hey, I'm not winning this one anymore. And Colin just advances to the top eight with a 2-0 over Scafo. Wow, the final boss makes it here. Today, two.